I came into yeah, doing record covers through my friend uh, Atta Matthias from Playhouse uh, Records. So it was like in the beginning of this. Uh, um, yeah, it was like 2003, 2004 when they planned the new uh, Isolé uh, record. At the same time, um, some of my Hamburg friends uh, had the idea to open a record store called uh, Smallville. I was asked to do the logo typography for the um, for the record store. It was, it was first it was a record store. Yeah, so I, I did like some records with Atta Macias and then I got in touch with uh, Toshia Kawasaki from uh, Mui Music here from Tokyo. And um, the interesting thing in for me to work with him was um, that uh, he's doing he's releasing like a special kind of of music here in Japan also really uh, big time noticed in um, Germany or Europe so I was into doing working with him and also I like this idea of um, of uh, putting t-shirts out because I have a small t-shirt label as well called the Lousy Living Company and he was into uh, releasing movie t-shirts as well and doing the record covers and he had a, kind of the same ideas as I had and um, so we got like easily together and, um, and I still it's now 2012 and I'm still enjoying to do uh, record covers for movie music kind of different. Um, sometimes I get the music in, in advance to listen and maybe I get some ideas or the, the titles are inspiring. But at the other end, sometimes I, I, uh, I can't uh, listen to the music before so, so I have like an idea of a record cover I really want to realize or like sometimes as that's my favorite way basically is when the artists, like the musicians, come to my studio and we flip through my work and then they say, okay, maybe take this one or like, I really like this one. So Stefan, maybe we, you can imagine to make a record cover out of this and then so we kind of go together through the pro process. This is pretty interesting. Um, we had the idea to next to the store or to release records of our friends in Hamburg, like the musicians in, in Hamburg, and um, so it was pretty close to me that I did um, the the logo artwork for Smallville and uh, um, party flyers to do the artwork as well. We do it like we really want to do, like we don't put the name of the musician on the record, basically, like not on the cover. I really just want to do one drawing or painting on the cover, like as a kind of art edition idea, without any advertisement, advertisement for the um, musician. So um, we don't, we never mention the artist on the on the record cover, and um, everything's on the back. And uh, yeah, the idea of releasing records turned out really nicely, and we yeah we keep on releasing now. Now we are planning, actually 2012, we, we, I finished the artwork for the next uh, Moomin Maxi, it's Smallville 28. Moomin released a great album like last year and this year will be the release of the Small People uh, long player, which I'm really excited for as well, doing the artwork for and having the music because Small, small People are Julius Steinhoff and um, Just von Ahlefeld, and these two people are basically the heads of Smallville right now. And um, yeah, and that's that's a big fun still. It's kind of an ongoing process. I do loads of people's faces because um, actually I do them while I'm traveling. So sometimes when you travel you have like these situations at the airport, in the plane, in the bus, in the streets where you're kind of bored and where you're like looking around and you find it interesting to look at other people, other cultures. It's like another, another look of the people. So I started to, to note it down basically, it's like do like drawings of people because I find it pretty interesting to, to look at people and then 
it developed a bit. I, I did like planes and airplanes mm -hmm. and the people in the planes and all is basically connected to, to uh, traveling and different cultures. So therefore I'm, I really love to do this uh, portrait drawing workshop um, in, uh, in Japan. Like I would never do this in Hamburg or like in Germany because I don't find the people so interesting. And But here it's also like a way to break through the cultural different differences and to get in touch with people and, and speak to them and like and um, yeah I like to do this <laughs> that's one side that's just one one part of my my artwork it's like not the main part but I do it really it's the part I do or I did in the it has the longest history in my work basically.